So this is my printing setup. As you can see, is a riprap type of printer um, with the moving y-axis. Um, it's a monoprice maker select. It's uh, the American um, marketed version of the one how duplicator i3 by in China or the cocoon create in Australia. Um, it's a pretty good printer. It's a decent price, um, but apparently it could be a lot better. Um, I haven't made a lot of changes yet, but there's a list of modifications that are supposed to make it pretty top notch. So, so far I've, I've only had really minor ones like this. This is a zip tie to the Y axis pulley. So, um, supposedly since, I don't know if you can see very well, my, my light just went out. Um, but normally the pulley is just held from one side so this side would give it a little give and that can shake up your printer your print bed so um i did that and then i angled the fan shroud situation here for um cooling the the print as you go um supposedly this angle is gonna give you um more direct airflow to the print surface, but I haven't really seen that much of a difference. So we're gonna see how we can improve that. So once again, sorry about the lighting, I'm having to improvise here. Um, I printed a benchmark, right? Before I started making any, making any modifications. So this is a 3D Benchy. Um, uh, this is basically a standard for everybody on so you know how to see how consistent your parent is anyway so as you can see um, there's a little bit well hopefully you can see there's a little bit of ringing in it and there's a little bit of um, problems with the overhangs with um, which could be because um, there, there's not enough cooling or, um, cause I mean, I printed this at 200 degrees is black PLA by Hatchbox. Um, might be a little, the temperature might be a little too high, but um, I mean, I feel like a good fan should have been able to handle this correctly. Anyway, um, the overhangs are a little messy. Hopefully you can see the bridging sags a little very little um hopefully you can see that there and there's um like zits and blots throughout the print which might have to do more with the over extrusion i'm gonna need to, I'm gonna need to tune that out um yeah so that's the benchy So let's get on to the mods. So the first mod that we're gonna do is fix the terrible um, print bed situation. As you can see, we have these wing nuts in, down here that are kind of hard to move and they can get um, messed up pretty easily also um, the pr the print the uh, screw is just screwed into this there's a couple washers but this lets it shift a little bit and vibrate while you're printing which you don't really want um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add these thumb thumb wheels so basically what these are, are 3D printed wheels that fit an M3 nut, um, preferably a lock, a lock nut, so that um, you can screw it to the underside of the printer and that way you can make adjustments better. These ones have uh, some numbers and uh, dials here so you can more easily remember where you set it at. So um, let's go ahead and, and make the mod.
So obviously the first thing that we're going to do is remove the print bed. Make sure all your washers and every and springs and nuts are accounted for and somewhere they won't roll away. So after a good deal of looking for those and lifting the Z, the on the Z axis of the of the extruder, now um, we should have some space to figure this out. So um, I'm gonna try to turn this around here. All right, so let's get to work. First, we're gonna put the washers. They say that there's one side that's more curved than the other, and that side should go towards the heat plate. Well, I don't really see much of a difference here, so I'm gonna go with my best guess. So one goes there, and of course, we're going to need some nuts. So we're going to need eight nuts total, four that go are going to fixate the As you can see there's the washer and then there's the there's the nut and then uh, see the spring fits right over the nut so all right so now let's put on the washers okay now here's the thing See how this scrapes? Well, some people say that you should kind of like grip it up and um, move it up and down so that the screw files down on the bed so that when you're adjusting the bed level um, and you turn the thumb the thumb wheel a little looser, it doesn't get stuck in there. But mine seems to be not too bad. I mean, I'll do it a couple times, but I will say the screws certainly are uh, harder than the aluminum because when I was trying to fix this one in the back, um, adjust it, it, it really did eat away at the bed, so. Seems like we're good. For the most part, at least. Alright. Now, we put in some, some thumb screws. So I have installed the th wheel screws. Um, it was they were a little hard to put in because of the of uh, of the stripped screw back here. Um, but they were um, they are better to do the fine details of the leveling, which I did on the four corners since I will. Um, I'm gonna do a big uh, print that takes up the whole plate. But I just noticed something. The print, the tip, the 
touches there and then it doesn't touch here in the center and then it touches over here on the right well it doesn't touch but like it comes back to the leveling so my print bed is sagging the aluminum print the aluminum print bed is sagging which kind of sucks because I can't really machine it it's too thin I can't really bend it because I'll probably make it worse so I can see why people use glass beds now um, I guess that'll, that'll be something to do later That's it for today, guys. Stay tuned for other mods on the um, Monoprize Maker Select, and I'll see you later. If you enjoyed this or any of my other videos or content, please check out my grad school fun page right here. Or if you'd rather, consider a donation through PayPal over here. All the proceeds will go towards my education and will help me immensely. Links are also in the show notes. Anyway, once again, thanks for watching.